Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 10th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But let's see what you have going on here. Uh, you have the Three of Hearts. Pretty much everybody has had the Three of Hearts this week. Uh, three of Hearts represents just moving in the right direction. I love it. Uh, I just call it an indicator card. To me, it just indicates that things are moving forward in a positive direction in your life. Uh, your overall energy is the Two of Wands. So I do feel like some of you could be moving, traveling, or you could be moving in the right direction. Two of Wands to me represents something different as well. To me, it's a card of like standing in your own power and being very bold. So I do feel like some of you could be very bold this week coming forward as very bold and really kind of going after what you want. This is also a card of digging for treasure. As far as I'm concerned, it's a card of like needing to dig. So it's like if you're looking for love, it could represent needing to date. Or if you're looking to be more successful in business, it could represent needing to try multiple different ideas to get to a certain level of success. So it's definitely a card of like putting in the work, but it's also a card of success. Uh, first, you have the seven of spades here and the queen of diamonds. I feel like that your fears could be holding you back from a new beginning. Uh, seven are internal fears that don't exist. So seven of spades represents internal fears that don't exist. Queen of diamonds is called the crossroads. It just says you have two choices to make, and it says pick the new choice. So I feel like you have to pick the new path. For some of you, this could be leaving one job, going to another, um, or needing to leave your job. It's like maybe there's a sense of comfort at the job you have, but maybe it's really not as good as it could be. So some of you could need to leave. could also represent leaving a relationship, or maybe you've already left a relationship, and but maybe you're having a hard time opening up to new love. So definitely some sort of change coming in with these two cards. Uh, next, you have the Three of Hearts and the Four of Hearts. Yeah, I love it. Uh, three of Hearts, like I said, just an indicator card. To me, it just says you're moving forward in the right direction. Four of Hearts, new love. Yeah, Seven of Hearts, a true commitment. Two Sevens. Two Sevens to me is definitely internal fears that don't exist. But this could be a true commitment coming in love. Seven of Hearts is called the tree, and it represents like putting your roots down into the soil, having a very deep commitment to somebody. So some of you could be finding new love or you find a very deep commitment or you could be hoping uh, seven of hearts again kind of is a card of hopes to me so I could say that you are hoping for a deep commitment with somebody for others I feel like this could be moving as well you have two fours here and a ten uh, you know two fours alone um, to me represent moving or could represent moving plus the ten though uh, definitely could represent moving four of hearts can also just represent like kind of patience and love so I do feel like some of you are needing to be patient at this time but really that's not what I feel <laughs> what, what I really feel is I feel like some of you are just focused on you know business or work or you know just something different is what I would say here uh, with these cards uh, next you have the four of spades in the nine of clubs yeah opportunity to recover I feel like some of you could be almost getting a break from the universe here with these two cards. So if you've been working really hard or if you've been having a really hard time lately, I feel like this could be a break coming in from you for you from the universe. And it could be just allowing you to take some like nice time to yourself. This could be like a vacation or it could be a staycation as well. But I do feel like some of you are taking some time to heal. Nine of Clubs is my card of recognition and achievement. It represents needing to open up to the opportunity of recognition and achievement. So Basically, it says if you are at work and you want to get a raise, this card says try as much as you possibly can to stand out in some way. Try to get as much attention as you possibly can because that will lead to a promotion or a raise. Uh, same thing in love. It says try to stand out as much as you can because that will lead to love if that's what you're looking for. Nine of Clubs is also my card of experimentation. So especially for those of you who have a business, but for all of you, really, this card is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So it says try new things like every single day and Figure out what works for you, and that will probably lead to a lot more success in your life. In your challenge position, you have the Joker and the Five of Spades. Yeah, taking a risk could be a challenge. The Joker is like the fool. It's just taking a leap of faith. Five of Spades is my card of taking a risk. So some of you could be having a hard time either like uh, moving away from a past relationship, or you could be having a hard time jumping into something new, like a new business or new job or a new relationship. So really, um, your solution, you have a very positive solution card here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But really, this would just say, just do it. You know, kind of like, I always say it to Taurus, but now I'm saying it to you. So I feel like whatever you're thinking about doing, just do it. Don't think about anything else. Your solution is the Jack of Hearts and the Eight of Spades. Yeah, crazy. Virgo had the Eight of Spades as well as their solution card. To me, this is very positive. It's obvious to me that maybe you Earth signs are finally opening up to other solutions in your life. You're finally opening up to other ways of doing things, and that's probably going to lead to success. It's like maybe you've been very focused on one way to achieve success, whether it be in love, business, whatever. doesn't matter. Um, and this says that you are opening up to other ways of doing things. This will probably lead to success. For others, I'm getting beginners, my 
mind as well. For some of you, I feel like this is almost like the fear of making a mistake. So it's like, you could be wanting to start a business, but you're like, you know, what if I make a mistake? What if something, you know, bad happens? This is like the beginner's mind, the jack of hearts. This is a great place to be. Uh, usually, sometimes beginners make amazing mistakes, right? Sometimes they, a beginner will do something new. They'll make a mistake, but it will actually turn out uh, for the better, or it'll actually be something that works. You know, I, I, I frequently talk about this as well. I have another business that I run, and it's a marketing business, and I frequently see new people coming into the space that don't know a lot about the space. They typically do way better than anybody else because um, it's like they are not tainted by knowledge. So they, they do not, they, they're not like inside of a box. So that's what I mean by beginner mindset. It's like they don't really know, it's almost like a not knowing the details of how to do something, but figuring it out anyway, maybe differently than ever anybody has ever done before, almost because you don't know any better. So, you know, I feel like that's kind of what I'm getting. Kind of a weird message. For others, this could be new love popping into your life as well. And uh, finally, you have the Ten of Hearts here and the Ten of Spades. Yeah, I feel like total new beginning for you. Ten of Spades to me is not a bad card. Uh, to me, it's a card of going from one thing to another. It's a card called the boat, like or called the ship, like a boat on the ocean. and just represents going from one thing to another. It can also represent business or commerce as well so if you like are in business or if you sell things uh, it's a very positive card for others this could represent going from one relationship to another so you could be you could have gotten out of a relationship or you could be leaving one going to a new one something that's more committed something that's more um you know this is a card of loyalty this card is called the dog it's like you know like dogs are very loyal to their owners so it's a card of loyalty so you could be meeting somebody who's very loyal to you both of these cards would represent dating to me as well so if you're looking for love i would definitely date uh all in all ten of hearts is fortune after difficulty as well look at this wow uh ten of diamonds and the six of diamonds here as well i just want to see what the next two cards were ten of diamonds amazing card for money six of diamonds really positive card for like luck in financial uh financially it can just represent financial luck whatever that means to you uh, definitely not a card to play the lottery i keep telling people it's not a very lucky year don't play the lottery um you know chances are, you know you're better off trying to make money on your own trying to do something to make money like starting a business starting a job something like that so i feel like that's what this is saying ten of diamonds is a card of learning so i would say learn as much as you possibly can three tens to me tens represent learning ten of diamonds is called the book but on ten of diamonds where they put a book on here the book is always closed it says you have to open the book you have to kind of learn on your own so i feel like learning would be a really good idea for you uh, with this ten of diamonds or learning things that you don't know about whatever it is that you do will probably have major financial impact on your life but uh all in all that looks really good so thank you for watching and enjoy your week